करते हैं काजोल जी गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते सुस्वागतम ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ कार्डियोलॉजिकल सोसाइटी ऑफ इंडिया एंड म्यूनसिपल कॉरपोरेशन ऑफ ग्रेटर मुंबई आई एम स्मिता गवानकर वेलकम यू ऑल सुस्वागतम टूडे ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ सेप्टेम्बर इज वर्ल्ड हार्ट डे कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट ही वॉज एक्स हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कार्डियोलॉजी एट नायर हॉस्पिटल एंड नाव एट बॉम्बे हॉस्पिटल इनफैक्ट ही इज अ टीचर एंड अ मैंटर टू मेनी ऑफ द कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट सिटिंग ईयर Ladies and gentlemen hold your breath don't skip a beat may we please have kajol on stage i'd say kajol is a complete woman a brilliant actress daughter wife and importantly a 24 by 7 hands on mother well i am not mentioning anything about helicopter ila we are all very excited to have you and are certain that your support to this cause is going to help save many lives it's my privilege to invite the commissioner of police mr subodh jaiswal who in a very short on a very short notice consented to grace this occasion we are privileged to have our beloved and dynamic honorable municipal commissioner mr ajoy mehta thank you doctor again i welcome all the dignitaries here on the stage now i request senior cardiologist dr satyavan sharma sir to present the bouquet mr ajoy mehta honorable municipal commissioner again i request dr sharma sir to present the bouquet to the commissioner of police honorable subhai jaiswal sir and now i request dr sharma to present the bouquet to our special guest bollywood super girl kajol thank you every sudden cardiac arrest ends with the irreversible loss i request dr manju sinha to share what she has lost due this monster sudden cardiac arrest dr manju sinha good morning everybody good morning I'm Dr. Manju Sinha, wife of Dr. Rakesh Sinha. For those of you who didn't know him, Rakesh was a laparoscopic surgeon. He was a holder of two Guinness World Records. He was a pioneer who had introduced laparoscopic surgery to Mumbai and India for that matter. In 2016, as usually this was a monday morning that is what he used to do we had a cup of tea he had already had a cup of tea with my in-laws we spoke about simple things we spoke about things like how we had had a wonderful sun we had gone shopping he had gone for a movie we had gone out for dinner and he was very excited because he had written a book anatomy of success and the book was getting good reviews he was an avid reader and he always spoke about how it is important to share your thoughts and share your skills skills he used to share by teaching everybody and these thoughts and the books that he used to read he had amalgamated all of that 
and put it in his book. So he was very excited. We were in a wonderful space, personally, professionally, financially, and we were talking about. He showed me the shoes which he had bought the day prior, a new pair of running shoes. And I gave him the t-shirt and I asked him whether he had seen that. And we shared simple niceties. I soon got a call saying that our list, the surgical list that we were supposed to do, one of the cases was postponed. He said, wonderful, I'll go for a quick run. Running was his passion. As I said, he always, he was a non-smoker, non-alcoholic, not hypertensive, non-diabetic. He used to run regularly and he always said he didn't need anything extraneous to give him a high because running is what gave him his high every day. And he went for his run. The next, I get a phone. This was around 8, 10. I had two thoughts. One was to tell him, it's quite late. Why do you want to go? Second was that, should I come along? But that would have delayed everything further. I kept quiet and he went for his run. This was around 8.10, 8.15. I got a call saying that I was needed. I woke up my son and we rushed. By the time he was already declared, they said it was a flat line. I insisted that we continue with the we restart the resuscitation and we continue resuscitation. And the gentleman who was next to him, when Mr. Shahid Bashi kept saying, we did everything we could, we did everything we could. We saw him fall down. We first tried to woke him up, he didn't respond. We got water, the watchman nearby on the road got water for him, they sprinkled water, but he didn't respond. We even put up his legs so that there would be some circulation. But I guess that's what they did was everything that they knew of. And that's, that's all. I couldn't tell them anything because that's, as he said, they did their best because that is what they knew best. And I hope our initiative is going to help save many people in this world. Dr. Rai, after death, people live in the world of death, this is what the matter of the matter of the matter. So, Dr. Manjoh Ji, we are all with you. Thank you so much. Now, I request Dr. Prafun Lakirkar, Senior Cardiologist, to explain us what exactly cardiac arrest is and how come it has become a burden for today's young generation. Dr. Prafulla Kierkar Ji. Thank you. Well, Rakesh Sinha was a close friend. Thank you, Manju, for, for really telling us the unexpected and sudden out of the blue thing that this sudden cardiac arrest causes. So what is sudden cardiac arrest? So sudden cardi cardiac arrest is a life-threatening emergency, as you heard from Manju. And suddenly, unexpectedly, the heart... Holy family, Bandra, to share his experience about eye care with us, Dr. Arminda Fernandez. Oh, my dear friends and all of you present here this morning. Today, 29th September, is World Heart Day. And I must congratulate the Cardiology Society of India to take this theme, awareness of sudden cardiac arrest, a theme so necessary to save lives. What a tra tragedy. You see a person seemingly healthy, young, walking on the streets of Mumbai and without any warning drops dead. But let me tell you the bigger tragedy is this could have been prevented if people around him knew how to do cardiac resuscitation and if there was availabilities of these 
they're defibrillators, you know, easy to reach to try and keep these people going till medical help arrives. I was the medical director of Holy Family Hospital and every week two to three patients were brought dead to our emergency and our casualty. And they were not old, 70s and 80s. They were young people. They were in their 40s, 30s, sometimes in their 20s, brought dead to the casualty. Uh, what a tragedy. And it was only after that fateful day in December, that morning when Dr. Rakesh Sinha was brought, that brilliant, young, multifaceted, athletic doctor, that the cardiologists of our hospital decided that we must do something about it. And that's when Dr. Yash Loganwala, Dr. Brian Pinto came to us in the management and say, let's do something about sudden cardiac arrest. And that's we, a very small team, Yash, Brian and me, and we said, we started thinking of how to take this forward. And we expanded our team. We had uh, other people, people from the hospital, a few of them, Manju is part of our team, lay people, Quinton, Rusi, I see a project. I stands for involvement, involvement of all of me, you, and everyone. And CARE is an acronym, acronym Cardiac Arrest Resuscitation for Everyone. So this was the project. So what was the objective? It was to save lives due to sudden cardiac arrest. And how were we going to do, about, do this? So two main things that we thought of. One is, one is that this would be a pilot project. This was only holy Priyatama ka dil ka kisi ke kisi ko ja ke painter ke paas se ek tasveer bana ke liye aaye. Wo painter ke paas gaya aur usne bola ki meri Priyatama ke dil ka ek achhi tarah se paintings ya tasveer bana lo. Aur mere sivay usse koi na dekh sake isliye ek darwaza bhi bana lo. पेंटर हंस के हंस गया और उसने एक बहुत अच्छे तरह से उसकी प्रियतमा का दिल का एक पेंटिंग बनाया और एक दरवाज़ा भी लगाया प्रियतम आ गया उसने देखा उसे बहुत ही अच्छा लगा लेकिन एक कमी महसूस आ गई वो वो पेंटर को बोला आपने दरवाज़ा तो लगाया है लेकिन कड़ी लगाई नहीं है उसको ताला नहीं लगाया पेंटर हंस के बोला प्रियतम दिल के दरवाजे बाहर से नहीं अंदर से खुलते हैं गुलदार साहब की लिखी हुई ये कहानी है दिल जितना अच्छा है उतनी ही दिल वाली अच्छी होगी जिसका घराना फनकारों का और कला खानदानी पर्दे पर जिसने लिखा है अपनी नई कहानी अभिनय की धारा में उसकी धारा है अनमोल आँखों में ले जा सके सब उसके रूप का मोल वो जिलमिल तारों की नदियाँ बस नाम उसका है हमारी काजोल काजोल जी Beautiful Kajol. Kajol, we welcome you here on the forum and we are curious to know what made you endorse sudden cardiac arrest awareness initiatives. Kajol ji. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I got a little distracted listening to the statistics on my left hand side from Dr. Kilkar. Um, first of all, uh, I think uh, everybody is here for a reason. Sab yaha kisi wajah se आए हुए हैं इस पर्टिकुलर कॉज को सपोर्ट करने के लिए तो आई नो फॉर फैक्ट दैट ऑल ऑफ दीज पीपल प्रॉब्ली ऑन स्टेज जितने भी है यहाँ पे हैव हैड अ लॉट ऑफ पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस विथ सडन कारिया का रेस्ट और uh, मैं कहना चाहूँगी कि सो हैव आई एंड आई आई गिव यू स्मॉल एग्जाम्पल आई हैड अ फ्रेंड ऑफ माइंड हु वॉज ट्वेंटी एट ईयर्स ओल्ड ये जस्ट गॉट मैरिड एंड हिज वाइफ just found out that she was pregnant and uh, she i think she was about a month pregnant at that point of time so she had kisi ko bataya nahi tha usne unhone aur you know raat ko jo bhi hai bataya unko ek dusre se baat ki and uh, they went to sleep and the morning at, at about 2:30 in the morning she heard a thud in the bathroom and uh, she woke up and her husband had died of sudden cardiac arrest he had just fallen down and died of sudden cardiac arrest at home there was nothing that she could do kuch nahi kar sakti thi us waqt usko samajh mein nahi aa raha tha kya karu bhag ke usne phone kiya sabko ya jo bhi hai you know you call up first thing you do is you call up you know whoever you have to and whatever and 
unfortunately or fortunately life takes that much time to get everybody together or to get medical attention to you and um, I remember thinking till today that till today I feel what a waste what an en enormous waste of a, such a talented man and uh, you know he was very intelligent talented great sense of humor and uh, suddenly I was you know walking on a set and somebody mentioned it I didn't even know about it actually it happened and it, like 24 hours later somebody mentioned it on a set Are, have you heard that uh, you know this one has expired and it was one of those utterly utterly shocking things that um, I remember it till today I sat and I've just sat down and I've just howled and howled and howled and howled and howled I've cried for like I couldn't stop crying for like a good half an hour um, it didn't matter who was around me at that point of time and I, I remember it so clearly till today so about a year and a half ago uh, when Dr. Liash Lokanwala spoke to me uh, about this particular initiative I was like okay we you know I totally agree with you or um, I think my mother has just celebrated her 75th birthday, touch wood. And um, so I have, ha I have a lot of experience with the fact that, you know, bimar padte rehte hain log, zarurat padti hai, um, kafi cheezon ki, hospitals ki, doctors ki. But most importantly, I think what it brings home to you is that you need at least one person in every family to have that kind of training to be CPR trained. I think it is very, very important. It's very important. It's not so difficult to me. I think that you don't need a certificate of doctor. And if we talk about something, it's a matter of one hour. So I think that that's something that, uh, that, that's an awareness that we can definitely spread to, uh, you know, everybody. And as much as we say, I think it's, it's part of our... Uh, it's part of our duty as citizens of the world, really, to help somebody out if we can. And uh, most importantly, I think it's very important to, for us to understand that at some point in time, at some point in time, it may not be today, it may be tomorrow, it may be day after, it may be five years or ten years from now, you will need it. If not for somebody that you care about, for somebody that you've seen, you like, you are acquainted with, or even if you see somebody across from you who's a complete stranger and you can do something about it, it will change your life. So I, I think this initiative is fabulous and um, it, it's sad that it, take, it took so many life-changing moments for it to come about and uh, for uh, you know everybody to stand up and talk about it but uh, I honestly think that uh, I, I really think that it is one of those necessary public service an announcements that uh, I'm hoping when I speak to the media as well uh, that they will all take this as the headline that you know it is something preventable and uh, we should all work towards it thank you thank you ma'am we have observed that many incidents of sudden cardiac arrests happen on roads or in public premises. If the victim gets help in time, chances of surviving increase. Police can help the victim to get timely help. I request Honorable Police Commissioner Mr. Subho Jaiswal sir to say few words on how municipal police can help this initiative. Honorable Police Commissioner. Shri Ajay Mehta, Professor Kerkar, Dr. Sharma, Mrs. Devgan, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, when Mr. Mehta invited me for this event, I said, yes, immediately. The reason was, we in the police, in the Mumbai police, we are 55,000 strong. And the last 12 days, that was the period of Ganpati and Muharram, we lost four of our personnel to this uh, disease. Two of them we were actually could probably may have been saved if we had uh, the same kind of training or same kind of assistance on the spot. We internalized the loss, but we did make an effort and we are consciously going to make an effort to ensure that A, we are going to ensure that all our constables, all our officers have a 100% medical checkup every year. That's number one. And number two, as suggested, we'll, we'll make all efforts to ensure that we'll have 
as many people trained in this, uh, should I use the word first aid if it's not uh, wrongly said, this kind of a procedure. And we have 93 police stations and uh, about, uh, in each police station we can have sufficient number of people trained if the assistance can be provided, if the training can be provided to us and that, that will be available to the public at large. So also our, it will be in our, it will be for our benefit that our own people, if they actually have to go through this kind of a situation there, somebody is there to revive them also. The initiative is excellent. We in the Mumbai police are there to support you in any which way we can by providing whatever manpower you require for undergoing training and in whatsoever small little pay, we'll also try to see if we can do something about uh, providing uh, the equipment at uh, strategic places. Having said that, I wish all of you and the society the very best in the effort and we will be a part of you as and when you require. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. लगातार आठ फिल्म में फ्लॉप होने के बाद जाने माने संगीतकार आर डी बर्मन बहुत व्यथित हो गए उनको बहुत ही दुख हुआ और सदमा पहुंचा और उसका नतीजा ये निकला कि लंदन में होते हुए उनको हार्ट अटैक आ गया जनरली द फिल्म वर्ल्ड अटेंड्स ऑल द फिल्म फेयर अवार्ड एंड एवरी थिंग एल्स बट वेन इट कम्स टू अटेंडिंग पब्लिक अवेयरनेस कॉज अ कॉज विच सेंड्स अ मैसेज टू द पीपल सेव लाइफ शी इज ऑलवेज बीन एट द फोर फ्रेंड वेन एवर वी रिक्वेस्टेड हर She's always been there for us. Thank you, Kajol ji. I know your busy schedule, but having come for this, I thank you not only from my behalf, the corporation behalf, but also on the behalf of the citizens of Mumbai. I am sure that you addressing the media is going to send a message. Let's get trained. It's a simple thing. Let's get trained. That's, it may not happen. God forbid it should not happen. And we all pray it doesn't happen. But there's no harm in being trained to do it. All, everybody in a disaster thinks, not me. Whenever you tell somebody that you can also be able to get the fire in your house, don't put the fire in the studio, don't put the fire in the studio, don't put the fire in the studio. His first reaction is, no, you won't put the fire in my house. So everybody thinks that I am not the next guy. But you never know who is destined to be the next guy. So let's be trained about it. That's the only message that I want to give. I want to thank Dr. Kerkar for the kind of interest he has taken. He could just be doing his research and writing his papers, but he's decided to come out and talk to people. Similarly, Dr. Sharma, I know you're busy, but you still made it time to come here. Dr. Vora, yourself also, your contribution has been huge to this program that we have taken up. I thank everybody for having come here. Ani ek chota sa karikrama madhe apan bhag ghetla, te avavad sarvan se abhar maanto. Ani eka sarvan ami vinanti karel, ki apan parad gelevar haa CPR chi paddat shikun gyawa, परत गेल्यावर कमीत कमी पाच लोकांना आपल्या ज्या शेजारी कोणी राहत असेल नातेवाईक असेल कमीत कमी पाच लोकांना आपण ट्रेन करावा एवढं जरी आपण केलं तर मला वाटतं खूप मोठ्या प्रमाणात आपण याचे हेतू साध्य करूया परशा आपला सर्वांचे आभार मानतो जय हिंद जय महाराष्ट्र थँक्यू सर नाव माय आय रिक्वेस्ट आवर डिग्नेटरीज टू टेक प्लेज टू पार्टिसिपेट इन धिस कन्स्ट्रक्टिव्ह इनिशिएटिव्ह टू लेंड आवर हँड to save a heart.